Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Even the sun has peace in itself, while I found no peace because I was creating all things, and I conceived the thought of placing foundations and of creating visible physical creation. Please continue watching for the ancient wisdom from the Book of the Secrets of Enoch. Bochim Habahim, peaceful viewers. Bochim Habahim is welcome in Hebrew. Am Aharon. The open hearted Israeli people find affinity and joy with such caring brothers and sisters like you. May the heavens shield you. Welcome to The Foundation of Creation from the Book of the Secrets of Enoch, Vegetarian, Part 1 of 2 on Words of Wisdom. The Book of the Secrets of Enoch, also known as the Second Book of Enoch or Old Bulgarian Enoch, is an ancient religious text which describes the intensity of the antediluvian or pre-flood time period. The book includes more than 20 old Bulgarian language manuscripts and fragments from the 14th to the 18th centuries. Scholars believe that these old Bulgarian text versions were translated from the original Greek. Enoch was a venerated patriarch and great-grandfather of Noah. After his son Methuselah was born, Enoch began to walk with God. That is, he began to seek, to know, to serve, and to pray to God, and he continued this for the next 300 years. Throughout his life, he visited heaven in his visions and dreams. At the age of 365, Enoch disappeared, because God took him away, straight to heaven, for he was pleasing to God. The Book of Enoch contains unique material on why the Great Flood was morally necessary, why some angels fell from heaven, and prophetic revelations of the thousand-year reign of the Messiah. But the main message is one of hope, that God will be the guiding light for those who are righteous. Today, as we go through chapters 21 to 25 from the Book of the Secrets of Enoch, we will learn about Enoch's heavenly meeting with God and his great subordinates, who himself reveals some secrets from the beginning of creation. Chapter 21 And the cherubim, angelic beings, and seraphim, heavenly beings, standing about the throne, the six-winged and many-eyed ones, do not depart, standing before the Lord's face doing His will, and cover His whole throne, singing with gentle voice before the Lord's face, Holy, 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 Lord, ruler of Sabaoth, heavens and earth are full of your glory. When I saw all these things, those men said to me, Enoch, thus far it is commanded us to journey with you. And those men went away from me, and thereupon I saw them not. And I remained alone at the end of the seventh heaven, and became afraid and fell on my face and said to myself, Woe is me, what has befallen me? And the Lord sent one of his glorious ones, the archangel Gabriel, and he said to me, Have courage, Enoch, do not fear. Arise before the Lord's face into eternity. Arise, come with me. And I answered him and said in myself, My Lord, my soul is departed from me, from terror and trembling, 
and I called to the men who led me up to this place. On them I relied, and it is with them I go before the Lord's face. And Gabriel caught me up as a leaf caught up by the wind and placed me before the Lord's face. And I saw the eighth heaven, which is called in the Hebrew tongue, Mesulith, changer of the seasons, of drought and of wet, and of the twelve constellations of the circle of the firmament, which are above the seventh heaven. And I saw the ninth heaven, which is called in Hebrew, Kukhavim, where are the heavenly homes of the twelve constellations of the circle of the firmament. Chapter 22 On the tenth heaven, which is called Arabith, I saw the appearance of the Lord's face, like iron made to glow in fire, and brought out, emitting sparks, and it burns. Thus, in a moment of eternity, I saw the Lord's face, but the Lord's face is ineffable, marvelous. And who am I to tell of the Lord's unspeakable being, and of his very wonderful face, and I cannot tell the quantity of his many instructions and various voices. The Lord's throne is very great and not made with hands, nor the quantity of those standing around him, troops of cherubim and seraphim, nor their incessant singing, nor his immutable beauty. And who shall tell of the ineffable greatness of his glory? And I fell prone and bowed down to the Lord, and the Lord with his lips said to me, Have courage, Enoch, do not fear, arise and stand before my face into eternity. And the architrategy, Archangel Michael, lifted me up and led me to before the Lord's face. And the Lord said to his servants, tempting them, Let Enoch stand before my face into eternity. And the glorious ones bowed down to the Lord and said, Let Enoch go according to your word. And the Lord said to Michael, Go and take Enoch from out of his earthly garments, and anoint him with my sweet ointment, and put him into the garments of my glory. And Michael did thus. As the Lord told him, he anointed me and dressed me, and the appearance of that ointment is more than the great light. And his ointment is like sweet dew, and its smell mild, shining like the sun's ray. And I looked at myself, and I was like transfigured, one of his glorious ones. And the Lord summoned one of his archangels by name Pravuil, whose knowledge was quicker in wisdom than the other archangels, who wrote all the deeds of the Lord. And the Lord said to Pravuil, Bring out the books from my storehouses, and a reed of quick writing, and give it to Enoch, and deliver to him the choice and comforting books out of your hand. Chapter 23 And he was telling me all the works of heaven, earth, and sea, and all the elements, their passages and goings, and the thunderings of the thunders, the sun and moon, the goings and changes of the stars, the seasons, years, days, and hours, the risings of the wind, the numbers of the angels, and the formation of their songs, and all human things, the tongue of every human song and life, the commandments, instructions, and sweet-voiced singings, and all things that is fitting to learn. And Pravuil told me, All the things that I have told you, we have written. Sit and write all the souls of mankind, however many of them are born, and the places prepared for them to eternity, 
for all souls are prepared to eternity before the formation of the world. And all double thirty days and thirty nights, and I wrote out all things exactly, and wrote three hundred and sixty-six books. Chapter 24 And the Lord summoned me and said to me, Enoch, sit down on my left with Gabriel. And I bowed down to the Lord, and the Lord spoke to me, Enoch, beloved, all that you see, all things that are standing finished, I tell to you, even before the very beginning. All that I created from non-being and visible, physical, things from invisible, spiritual. Hear, Enoch, and take in these my words, for not to my angels have I told my secret and I have not told them their rise, nor my endless realm, nor have they understood my creating, which I tell you today. For before all things were visible, physical, I alone used to go about in the invisible, spiritual things, like the sun from the east to west, and from west to east. But even the sun has peace in itself. While I found no peace, because I was creating all things, and I conceived the thought of placing foundations and of creating visible, physical creation. Chapter 25 I commanded in the very lowest parts that visible, physical things should come down from invisible, spiritual, and Adoil came down very great, and I beheld him, and lo, he had a belly of great light. And I said to him, Become undone, Adoil, and let the visible, physical, come out of you. And he came undone, and a great light came out, and I was in the midst of the great light. And as there is born light from light, there came forth a great age, and showed all creation which I had thought to create. And I saw that it was good. And I placed for myself a throne, and took my seat on it, and said to the light, Go thence up higher, and fix yourself high above the throne, and be a foundation to the highest things. And above the light there is nothing else. And then I bent up and looked up from my throne. Caring viewers, it was an honor to have your presence for today's Words of Wisdom. Please join us tomorrow for the second part of The Foundation of Creation from the Book of the Secrets of Enoch Vegetarian. Coming up next is Supreme Master Ching Hai, Vegan, on the Harmful Effects of Meat, Part 11, Hindrance in Spiritual Practice, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more uplifting programming. May divine wisdom and virtue guide you through life and beyond in God's eternal embrace. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique WOW. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule et suprememastertv.com barra inclinada WOW. I nostri programmi sont offerti in molte lingue. Consultate suprememastertv.com barra schedule e suprememastertv.com barra w o w 